signaling molecules in our body. So I don't want you to get too confused by this, but what this is showing you here is it's just showing here's the liver, here's the stomach, here's your fat tissue, your adrenal glands, here's your brain. And what you're seeing is all these different chemicals communicating with each other. So another way to think about hormones is as messengers. They tell the body what's going on. The fat cells speak to the muscle cells. The muscle cells speak to the brain. All these organs, really, we're finding out, are all endocrine organs. They all send signals to communicate with the body. So what are they saying? Well, they're telling you a couple things. They're telling you what type of fuel to burn. Are you going to be more of a sugar burner, carbohydrate burner, or are you going to be more of a fat burner? Are you going to store more fat in your hips and thighs or more fat in the middle? And we know this, right? Take a look at any female versus male. We know the hormones impact where body fat is stored, right? So where do women store fat? Hips and thighs, right? Where do men store fat? Around the belly. Kelly and I, oftentimes people will say they store fat in their head for men, but <laughs> we wouldn't argue with that, but it's mostly around the middle. But here's the interesting thing. Every single time you eat, okay, every single time you exercise, you send signals into your body that will determine things like hunger, cravings, mood, energy, health, motivation. I mentioned dopamine and serotonin. You guys have heard of those, right? Those are drugs that doctors will give you drugs to manipulate those hormones in the brain. They can control things like cravings. If you don't believe hormones matter, then answer these two questions for us. How many calories does sleep have? How many calories does stress have? So people who come to Kelly and I and say, it's all about calories, nothing else matters. We say, all right, well, how many calories does sleep and stress have? And they look at us, because that's a ridiculous question, right? We, you can't eat sleep and you can't eat stress, but you know if you don't get a good night's sleep, you're not gonna eat very well the next day, are you? You're gonna crave what? Sugar, fat, and salt. Same with stress. So the first thing I want you to write down if you're making mental notes is that fat loss, and weight loss are not the same. 